welcome to engineering clinic so today we are going to see a topic on how to install ns 2.35 in ubuntu 22.04 so ubuntu 22.04 is recently launched with the name of a code name called as jammy so if you can able to find out cat etc slash lsb hyphen release so using this you can able to find out what is the name of the port uh, so you can see cat etc lsb release so here it is called as jammy so we need to know about jammy and uh, since ns2 is too old uh, and uh, jammy is too new so matching these two is always a tougher issue so we need to uh, do some uh, small tweaking so that uh, we can comfortably install ns2 on ubuntu 22.04 okay so first thing is always we go for sudo apt update always we have to go with the thing so next thing is sudo apt install uh, build essential essential then autoconf then auto make then lib xmu hyphen dev so these are the packages we need to install so we can uh, copy paste this first we go with update yes it's done so now we will be using our package So this is the first time I am trying in Ubuntu 22.04. So in case if you want to go into Ubuntu 22.04, you can use these methods. So now uh, requirements of NS2. So we need to have uh, GCC hyphen 4.8 and we need to have G++ hyphen 4.8. So these two packages uh, were available. only up to 18.04 so which the code name is bionic so this is a bionic is a code name so we need to edit so where to edit is cat can use sudo nano nano or gedit any editor you can use sudo gedit etc apt sources dot list so in this we have to we have to modify a line according to that so that we can able to do it so i'll just show you that so once this package is done so we use nano sudo nano uh, slash etc apt sources start list but i think it is showing slowly okay fine so now you can see here uh, this is jammy here and this is jammy updates then jammy universe everywhere you can see jammy jammy like this so at the end what we can do is we can include this statement deb http slash slash in dot archive dot ubuntu dot com ubuntu dot com slash ubuntu slash bionic uh, bionic then main universe so this uh, line we have to update so that once this line is updated then we can able to install gcc 4.8 and gcc uh, g++ 4.8 now save this file so once the file is been saved now this is what we need to uh, make an entry in the above file the above file so this this we have to include so afterwards again we have to use sudo apt update so we need to use again sudo apt update hello so we got this error here so the following signatures could not be verified because the public is not available so no public so we got this so what you do is in case if you get any error here so first to copy this command and you need to add uh, this thing so, so this full command you need to uh, add this so once this to be added so let me give it here for any uh, gpg error uh, include the following command so you need to run this so this thing so this value should be the error value what you get in your uh, public key so this is the key this is the name of the key the key uh, this key is only for me for my machine for everyone's machine this key will be different so you need to get the value from the key server.ubuntu.com 
after that again you try sudo apt update okay so let me try it install and be clear the screen so sudo apt install gcc hyphen 4.8 and g plus plus hyphen 4.8 so this is the actually only challenge in uh, ns2 is G, uh, ns2 the uh, ns2 is based upon gcc version 4.8 which is not available in ubuntu 20.04 onwards so in that case we need to go back and then we have to install so so once it is done then uh, ns2 can be comfortably can be installed okay so now we are installing gcc 4.8 uh, and uh, gcc so can you see sudo app uh, install gcc hyphen 4.8 and uh, g plus plus hyphen 4.8 so both these things have installed okay so next it is done so now i will just show you that uh, i have already my ns only in one i have downloaded so i will just copy this to my home folder so cp ns so i just copy to my uh, download folder you can see so you can manually copy uh, through the browser you can download then use it and unzip also so what i do is i'll go to the browser here and here it is right click extract here so you can give an option extract here so once it is done the extraction will be happening here you can so now it is done so now we can check it here so my ns all in 1 2.35 is done so then cd ns all in 1 2.31 then we need to do some changes here i'll just tell you what are the changes here so first let me go into uh, ns 2.35 in this we have to go and edit the make file dot in so in the edit make file dot in you can see cc so wherever cc is there so the cc is the generalized cc we need to change it to 4.8 so this is one and g plus plus hyphen 4.8 so we need to change these two cc in this file so the first file is uh, make changes make the changes in the following files so add cc to be uh, replaced with uh, gcc hyphen 4.8 and add cpp at to be uh, replaced with g plus plus hyphen 4.8 so one location is ns hyphen 2.35 slash uh, make file dot in so this thing you have to do it so next thing is uh, let me go here cd otcl so otcl 1.14 gedit make file dot in so here also I need to change you can see here cc gcc hyphen 4.8 and i will use cppv cpp is not there cxx it's not there so only cc is there so this folder also we need to change it so here this this folder so here not ns all in one ns all in one So this thing you need to change it okay so now here in this also i need to change it so make file dot in make file dot in. so this you need to do the changes and uh, still one more location so let me close these things once it is the change is done close those locations then mm, then we have cd TCL, TCL is not needed. Then uh, NAM, there is something called as NAM. So in the NAM, we have something called as configure. So gedit configure configure.in. So here also control of CC. It's not that, so this file is not needed. Okay. 
I'll just copy paste it. Uh, it won't be saved, so it will be given. Grammarly can help you write quickly and calm. Okay, so here we need to use gedit make file data again. Again, uh, cc when you put it, so here we have it. So we need to gcc hyphen four point uh, hyphen four point eight, then uh, g plus plus hyphen four point eight. So this also we have changed it. So this location is uh, nam one point one five. So we have changed it like this. Nam uh, hyphen one point one five slash make file dot in. Okay, so this thing we have done, and one more location is uh, xgraph. So xgraph anyway it won't work. Anyway we will change there also. Gedit make file dot in. So here it is. So uh, make file dot in. So control of CC. Uh, CC at, yeah, here it is there. So change it to GCC hyphen 4.8. Can see CPP there we use uh, G plus plus hyphen 4.8. So these changes we have to do. Okay. So X graph hyphen 12.2. So the another change is X graph hyphen 12.2 slash uh, make file dot in so in all these places all these all the above places change at cc at 2 gcc hyphen 4.8 and at cpp at and or uh, at cxx at 2 g plus plus hyphen 4.8 okay so once it is done then one more change is uh, open the file ns hyphen 2.35 slash link state slash ls dot h in line number uh, 137 change the line uh, erase to this dot erase actually inside a, a window of inside the youtube documentation or youtube uh, uh, description window this greater than symbol and less than symbol are not allowed so that's why i cannot able to use i will be using this dot erase and this i will be using this dot like this so only thing is you need to change this okay so let me show you that so cd ns then link state then ls dot h so in this ls dot h oh sorry it is g edit we need to open the file so once it is done so this will go to the line number 137 here so in the 137 here exactly at 137 you need to change this array so this to this dot arrays okay so this is what the change we need to have okay so once it is done now we have almost uh, done our changes now go back here dot slash install so all the changes have been made now initiate dot slash install so this will be taking time according to the speed of your ram and according to the speed of your system okay so anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes so what i do is i will be stopping the video so once it is done i will enable it okay so if at all any errors there uh, it won't be because we have made all the changes if at all any errors are there then we will rectify those errors and then we again we have to initiate the process so okay installation is done i think so now we need to set the path so you can see that uh, this path environment this these things to be put in the path variable so from here to here you have to copy 
so copy and then uh, g edit so you have to go to the home folder dot bash rc there is a file called as in the home dot bash rc so here you can go and edit it so you can use export path equal to dollar path colon control v so we just put this here then export ld underscore library path equal to so now again uh, this we have to copy so export ld library path so we have to copy uh, these uh, two lines these two lines from here to here click copy so you can uh, copy you see colon remove the comma and use a colon so colon will be the file file separator you have to use a colon so once it is done then that's all so both the file changes have been done so now you can log out and login back so or else what we can do is we can use source uh, home uh, dot bash rc you can use this way so once it is done then you check it with the ns so ns is working fine and nam nam is also working fine so nam console is working fine so both network simulation ns2 and uh, ns and uh, nam both are working fine so we will run one example and then let, let's check it so ns uh, wireless uh, hyphen mitf rtcl you can see it's running then nam wireless underscore mitf dot so we can see this nam is working fine so that means our installation of ns2 is successful maybe some icons are not visible only after clicking visit maybe some uh, problem with the uh, variable so you can see here it's working fine so that's all uh, it works perfectly fine ns2 is installed on 22.04 so let me use the, some of the commands here. So the, this dot array. So then you can use once the installation is over. Set the path and ld underscore library path information in the file located at slash home so in my case it is Pradeep Kumar slash dot bash rc in this file so which are the contents I will open those contents so these are the contents I can I just copy and paste it here in the documentation so these contents need to be pasted here so in my case my username is Pradeep Kumar so in your case this could be any username so use that particular username and then do the changes so once it is done uh, check for ns and check for nam it works well so thanks for watching this video so please subscribe to my channel and uh, please uh, share it to your friends and refer it to your friends scholars and students thank you very much